Hey guys, today's reformer workout is going to be abs, arms, and glutes. You're going to use a Pilates box if you have one. If you don't, you can do a lot of exercises with the foot bar up or down, depending on what we're doing. So, so this is a try even if you don't have the box. So, we're going to start, you're going to have your foot bar down to the bottom notch. So, you don't want the foot bar to be like below the wooden um, frame. You want it to be just above it. So depending on the machine you have, we're going to put on one red spring. If you know that your hamstrings cramp up, you might want to do a red and blue or a red and yellow or white, depending on your spring load. So we're going to take the box. You're going to place it just in front of the carriage and the well over the springs. And then you're going to make sure it's, secured in line with the reformer. And so it's gonna lay on top of the foot bar and lay over the spring. So make sure it's pushed down and it feels secure so you, it's not like moving around. So it's gonna be on a slight incline. So let's lay down on your back. We're gonna start with a few bridges. Make sure the headrest is all the way down in the flat position. If you feel a little cramped getting in, you can always put your stopper out a little further. So, heels flat onto the box, feet hip distance apart, arms long by your side. You can push the carriage out a few inches from the box so it's not squished, like I said. You're going to tuck the pelvis under, roll up one vertebrae at a time, articulating up through the spine, squeeze those glutes, tuck the pelvis under, hold at the top, and then slowly roll down, upper back, middle back, lower back, till you come all the way down. Let's do a few more here, warming up the spine, tuck the pelvis under, roll up, make sure those heels are flat on the box, legs are hip distance apart, heels are in line with the sit bones, rolling down one rear at a time. Exhale, tuck the pelvis under, use those lower abs to initiate the motion of rolling up through the neck, spine, squeeze those glutes. You only want to lift the hips up as high as you can. Your glutes are engaged and you're not hyperextending the back. Tuck under and roll down. Let's do three more like this. Rolling up through the spine. Try to keep the carriage as still as possible. And slowly roll, squeezing those glutes even as you roll down, getting into those hamstrings. Two more here. Hold for three with the top, keep the pelvis tucked, and lower. One more here, tuck under, holding it at the top, abs tight, you're going to drop the hips down, halfway down, and then up, lower half, and lift up, make sure those feet are flat onto the box, you're lifting through the hip bones, or through the pelvic bone, not through the back. And again, try to keep the carriage as still as possible. You're working the hamstrings, the glutes. Exhaling as you lift. Let's do five more here. Press four. Lift three. Two. You're going to hold it at the top. You're going to press the carriage out as far as you can without lifting those feet and then pull it in. So you probably won't be able to go all the way out straight from those legs, otherwise the toes might start to lift up. So keep the toes planted on the box, the heels on the box. Again, only go out as far as you can. Use those hamstrings and glutes to pull in. Abs tight. The slower you go, the more you will feel those hamstrings and glutes working. Keep tucking the pelvis as you pull in. We're going to do five more here. Last one, we're going to pull that carriage half 
belly in, hold it there. Little tiny tucks, 10, nine, keep that carriage still, eight. Just tuck that pelvis and squeeze those glutes, seven, six, you should also feel those hamstrings, five, or four, three, two, one, hold it, you're gonna do little pulses in with the carriage, slow, 10. Actually drop your hips to a little hover, nine. So now you're more of a flat back inside of a rounded pelvis, eight. You're gonna feel a little bit more in the hamstrings and right underneath those glutes. Six, little pulse, five, four, pull it in slow, three, two, last one, put all the way in and then roll down one vertebrae at a time. Bring those knees into your chest if you can. Or you can keep the feet down and then do a little slight rock side to side. Bring the feet back to center. Feet are hip distance apart again. We're gonna roll up one vertebrae at a time, articulate up through the spine, lengthen through the hips. We're gonna bring that left leg straight up to the ceiling. If this isn't too intense, you can keep both feet down or add on a spring. Hold me up here. You're just gonna go do little pulses with that right glute. So go down an inch, up an inch, or down two inches, whatever feels good. You want it to go slow and intentionally squeeze that right glute. Make sure you're not lifting through the back and you're lifting through the glutes. You're lengthening through the front of the right hip. Lift up and squeeze. We have five more. Four, three, two. Hold it up here. You're gonna lengthen that left leg down towards the foot bar, towards the box, and then back up to the ceiling. Keep that carriage still. You're isometrically working that right glute to lower down and exhale lift. Lower, don't let the hips drop. Four, lower, and lift. Five, keep going with this variation. Or if you want a little bit more advanced, you're gonna press the carriage out as you lower the leg down, and then pull that leg up as you pull the carriage in. So do what version feels good for you. This is a lot of work on that right hamstring and glute. So if this is too intense, then just stay with that carriage in. We won't be here for very long. Let's do five more, and four. Keep lifting up through that right glute for three, and two. Last one, hold it five seconds, four, three, two, and roll on down. Just reach that right leg up to the ceiling, pull down into that stretch, give that right glute and hamstring a little stretch. Place that right foot back onto the box. Feet are hip distance apart now. Tuck the pelvis under, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Lengthen through those hips. Bring that right leg straight up to the ceiling. Little pulses with that left glute, down a few inches, up a few. Squeeze that left glute. Two, breathe. Intentionally lift and squeeze that left side. Little lifts, five more, four, three, two, hold at the top, hold it. You're gonna lower that right leg down towards the box and exhale, lift. Staying lifted through the left glute, isometric really working. And three, try not to let that right hip drop. Four, and five. Now we're gonna add on if you did it with the other side. So you're gonna press the carriage down slightly as you lower the leg and exhale with the leg as you pull the carriage in. Again, if it's too intense, just stay with that first version. Lower down and exhale lift. It's a lot of work in that left side. We have five more. And four. Try to keep those hips even level for three, and two, 
Last one. Hold it all the way up there. Sweep that left glute five seconds. Four, three, two, and roll on down. Reach the left leg up to the ceiling. Pull down. Do a little stretch. We're going to roll on up. So you might need to push the carriage out a little slightly so you can roll up. I'm going to do a few abs. So I want you to stand on up. Just take the box and put on your form for a second. We're going to change your springs to a single blue spring. And then I'm going to have you put your foot bar all the way down to the bottom notch. This time we're going to wedge the box in between the carriage and the platform. So you might need to push the carriage out a little bit. And then make sure the box is on the rail, so it's in line with the wooden platform and your carriage. So if you need a little bit more back support, you can always go to a blue and a white spring or a blue and a yellow. Um, if you want it even lighter, go down to a single white spring. So let's put your forearms on the box. Your hands are just at the tip. Elbows are down. You're going to lift your knees up to a hover. And you're going to press the carriage back into a plank position, abs tight. You're going to slowly bend the knees in and then press out. You want to press out of the shoulder joints. Don't sink into the back. Have the head neutral. Like I said, if you need a little extra support on the back, and this feels too hard, you can always do a, a blue and a white or go to a red, whatever feels good for you. Bend those knees in slow. And press out. Make sure you're lifting up through the belly button. You're not arching the back. I'd rather have you a little bit more rounded than arched to protect the back. Bend the knees in. Tuck them just underneath the hips or slightly in front of the hips. Let's do five more. Last four. Keep that head neutral. Three. And shoulders are in line with those elbows. Two. Last one, you're going to press out and hold that plank. Ten seconds. Squeeze those glutes. Ten. You can always drop down to the knees if you need. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Come on in. Take a little child's pose. Separate the legs. Stretch through. Straighten those arms. Let the head drop through the center. And roll on up. We're going to go into plank to pike. So back on your forearms. Tuck those toes under. You're going to press out to a plank position. Abs tight. You're going to keep those legs straight. Lift the hips up to the ceiling as you bring the carriage in towards the box. Back out to the plank. Hold the plank for a second. Lift up through those lower abs. And then back out. Scoop through those lower abs as you lift up. And then as you go out to the plank, don't arch the back. Keep the belly bent up to the spine. Keeping the shoulders over the elbows. Don't let them go back. Exhaling as you lift. Looking at those shins. We have four more here. This is too intense. You can hold the plank or drop down to the knees and hold the plank. Four more. Last two. Last one. And come on in. Sit up for a second. Pull your hands behind you. Open up the chest and shoulders. We have one more thing here. The modified version, forearms down, knees are down. Press the carriage back, so you're in a modified push-up position. So there's one long line between your hip flexors and your knees. You're just going to move at the shoulder joint, pressing back, and then pulling just so the shoulders are back in line with the elbows. So this is the modified version. You're already feeling it. Harder version, you're going to lift up on to a full plank. You're going to press the carriage back and pull in. Do what feels good for you. 
If you feel any back pain or anything doing this version, go down to the knees. You'll still be working the abs and arms. Squeeze your butt. And you don't have to go back super far. Again, listen to your body and do what feels good. We're going to do five more. Inhale back and exhale, pull in for four. Squeeze your butt for three. And two. Last one. And come all the way in. We're going to take the box and put it just in front of the shoulder rest, and you're going to bring the foot bar up all the way up to the top notch. Put on a single red spring. And if you want, you can always try a red and a white, but when I did a red and a white, or I tried it, it was a little too much on the hips and my torso, so it might feel a little light, the red, at first, but don't worry, you will start to feel it. So we're gonna get into a little glute work. If you don't have a box or you don't like this variation, you can grab your yoga block and lay down on your side and put your foot on the foot bar and still do the same motions. I would, if you're doing that, go with a red and a blue spring. So you're facing sideways, your left knee is up against the box. You're gonna place that left hand onto the box as well. This right foot is going to go to the very front edge of the foot bar and you're going to be parallel. So you're leaning kind of onto that left hand, you're not sinking into the shoulder, make sure you're lifting up out of it, engaging that left oblique. And you're just going to press the carriage all the way out and then pull it in slow. Lengthen long, you're pressing through that heel and down. So if you were to add a little heavier spring, your box might move and then I feel like you might be twerking the hip a little bit. So again, I'm on a little bit lighter spring. So you might not feel it at first or it might feel light, but don't worry. You are still working the obliques, the core, this glute. Exhaling as you press out. In slow. Actively squeeze that glute and quad each time you press out, resisting it in. Keep pulling those abs in tight. Pressing through that right heel, you're light on the toes. We're going to do five more here. So if you notice my torso isn't really moving, the carriage is moving, so you don't want your body to be going to the right or moving those hips. Just the, the torso staying still, the carriage is moving. Three more here. Last one, you're going to press out, come in halfway and hold it. Little pulses, out a few inches and in a few, press through that right heel, actively try to squeeze that right glute. You might feel that left glute engaging a little bit because it's stabilizing the carrot or stabilizing your torso and body. Resist up, resist down. We have eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, you're going to press it all the way out. Come all the way in. Put your hand down if you need. We're going to rotate so we're externally rotating. So the heel is still on, your toes up to the ceiling. You might need to move that foot back a little bit. If that's more comfortable, you're going to press the carriage out and in. So again, you're leaning on to that left hand for a little support. 
The knee and toe of the right leg are up towards the ceiling or at that slight angle. So again, if you don't like this version, you can grab your yoga block, take the blocks off, lay down on your side, do the same exact thing. This just adds more full body, so then it gets your heart rate up a little bit higher. But this is your right workout, so I want you to do what feels good and what feels good with your body. Press through that heel, squeeze that right glute. We have six more. Exhale, press five. Last four. Three. Press two. Last one, you're gonna come in halfway and hold it. Little pulse, up a few inches, down, 10. Nine, slow and control, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, you're gonna press all the way out, lengthen. Come all the way in. You're gonna put your forearm down on the box. You can move that leg out a little bit away from the box if you want. You're gonna extend that leg over the foot bar, flex that foot. Just little lifts up. Two, keep that leg parallel. Three, try not to sink in the shoulder. Four, five, squeeze that outer glute. Six, seven, keep breathing. Nine, ten, five more. Four, three, two, hold it up there. Circles, ten each way. Ten. You can put this right hand down if you need to stabilize. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, reverse directions. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, almost there. Four, three, two, hold it and release. Let's sit on the box. Cross the right leg over the left. Lean into that stretch. Feel the stretch of that right glute and hip. Let's also just stretch the left leg as well because it was a stabilizing leg, so it was activating. Lean that chest forward. Breathe into that stretch. Okay, we're gonna switch over to the other side. So, you put that foot on the ground, so right knee is up against the shoulder block or the box, left foot, is going parallel onto the reformer. Right hand on the box, lean into that right hand a little bit, but lift up out of that shoulder. You're gonna press the fierce out, squeeze that left glute, and pull it in. Press through that heel. Each time you lengthen, try to squeeze that left glute. Try to lift up through this right side so you're activating that right oblique. It's not going to feel like you're burning those obliques, but you're still activating it, lifting up through that core, keeping those abs tight. Do five on here, lengthen long through that leg, pull it in slow, and four. Again, make sure that torso isn't rocking side to side, just the carriage is pressing or moving as you press that leg. For three, press two, last one, come in halfway, little pulses, up a few, down a few, resist it down, press through that heel, go slow and control. Make 
make sure those abs are engaged. We have five more. Last one, press it all the way out. Come all the way in. We're gonna rotate that heel and toe up to the ceiling, so externally rotated. Bringing that leg back a little bit more, if that feels more comfortable. Press the carriage all the way out, and pull it in. Squeeze that left glute each time you press. Resisting it down. We have five more. Last four. Three. Two. Last one, you're going to come in halfway and hold it, little pulse. You can place that left hand down if you need to help stabilize. Two, slow, three, and four, breathe. We have five more. Four, three, two. Last one, press it all the way out. Come all the way in. You can move that right leg out a little bit. You're going to place your forearm down on the box. Extend that left leg over the foot bar. Little lifts up. Squeeze that outer glute. Breathe three. Try not to sink into that right shoulder. Six. Lift and squeeze. Eight. Breathe. Nine. Abs in. Ten. You have five more. And four. Three. Two. Hold it up there, little circles, 10 each way, 10, stabilize the pelvis, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, reverse directions for 10, 9, up and around, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold it, 5 seconds, 4, 3, Two and relax. Woo. Sit onto the box. Let's stretch out that left glute first. Lean that chest forward. You can press down slightly on that left leg. And breathe. Let's switch over to that right side because that right glute was also working by stabilizing. Breathing into that stretch. Okay, let's roll on up. Carefully step off of the reformer. We're going to put your foot bar all the way down again. Put on a single one loose spring. And we're going to turn our box long ways. All right, we are going to step in to the well. And you are going to grab on to the strap. You're going to put your thumbs into the straps and then your hands are on the outside. So to get into this, you're going to press the carriage forward slightly and then lay straight down on the box. And once you're there, shimmy yourself forward a little bit so your chest is just over the box. So you're going to start with the elbows wide in goal post position. So palms are facing the floor, elbows are bent, you're just pressing, abs are engaged, so you're not sinking into that back. Head is neutral, you're just going to press those arms out in front of you towards the foot bar and bend it back. If this blue spring is too heavy, go down to your lightest spring, which might be a white or a yellow, press out. And then I'm going to have to bend my knees because I'm hitting my tower, but if you can keep your legs straight, do that. So press it out, reach. 
and bend. Head neutral. Keep those abs engaged. Exhaling as you press. If this feels like it's getting too much into your neck, go down to a lower spring or just stop and take a breather. We're just gonna do three more like this. Press out for two. Press out for one. And come on down. Let the head relax down into the well for a second. You can rock the, or shake in the head side to side slowly. Next, we're gonna go into breaststroke. So we're gonna start in that same position. Elbows are bent like a goal post, palms are facing towards the floor. Abs are sucked in. You're gonna press the arms out straight towards the foot floor. Then you're gonna lift your chest up as you circle the arms out and around. And then bend those elbows back into the goal post position. Exhale, press, reach those arms. Lift the chest up slightly as those arms come out to the side. And bend those elbows down. Exhale, press, reach. Lift the head and chest up slightly. Arms out to the side. And bend down. One more here. Exhale, press, reach. Lift up, opening up the chest and shoulders. Bend those elbows. And release. Drop the straps down into the wall. Step off to the side. And then just take a little stretch down. Shake out the head, relax the neck. And then roll on up slowly. We're gonna add on a white spring, so you have on a blue and a white, or you do a blue and a yellow. If you wanna go a little bit heavier for arms, go for a single red. You're gonna grab on to your straps. Sitting up tall, palms up to the ceiling. You're gonna tuck the pelvis under slightly, engaging those abs, getting that C curve, bicep curls, pull in, Resist out slow. Exhaling as you pull. Full extension. You want to keep those elbows the same height. So you can always drop them a little bit lower if you feel like it's getting into your neck. But keep them low the whole time. Don't lift them as you try to bring the hands up. Keep that C curve. Lengthen long through the neck. Exhale as you pull, control it out slow. If you don't like doing the C curve, then you can always sit up tall and do that. Squeeze those biceps, resist it out. Remember to lengthen long through the neck, don't let the shoulders hike up. If you feel any neck tension, just drop the elbows a little bit lower. Let's do five more. Squeeze for four. For three. Exhale, pull for two. Last one. Sit up tall. Since we did laying on our stomach, let's just press the hands back, do chest expansion, opening up the chest and shoulders. Sitting up tall through that spine, straight elbows, pressing past the hips. You only want to go as far past the hips, what feels good with you. Sometimes when people go too far back, then they start feeling tension in the neck. So if that's the case, then stop the elbows or the hands just past the hips, and then resist it forward. Again, listen to your body. If you feel any neck tension, back tension, always lighten the weight or shorten the distance or range of motion. Exhaling as you press. Slow as you resist forward. Let's do eight more. Press back seven. Five, four, keep 
dropping the shoulders down the back. Three. Press two. And one. Hold it five seconds. Four. Drop shoulders down. Three. Two. One. And release. Do a little stretch down. Relax the head. A little stretch in the upper back. Okay, we're going to roll on up. We're going to do a little reverse teaser motion. So, palms up to the ceiling. Lean back into a C curve. One leg up into tabletop. Other leg. So you can either hold this position, or if you feel comfortable, actually move your bottom towards the front edge of the carriage or the box. So one leg up, other leg. Hold this position if you want. Otherwise, you're gonna roll down one vertebra at a time. Hold it there. You're gonna drop the head back towards the spring. Take an inhale, exhale, chin to your chest, roll up through that spine. Keep those legs still, holding it there. And then roll back down. Slow, slow, slow. This is like a little teaser prep. prep. Left to head. Inhale, exhale, lift up, press it back down. Roll up through those abs. Keep tension in that rope, rolling up through the spine. Lengthen through the chest. Good, we're gonna do a few more here. We're gonna add on. Roll down slow. Relax the head. Exhale, lift up. Scoop through those abs. Roll, 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 roll. Keeping those legs still. Woo. Now we're going to add on. So roll back. Let the head relax. And then exhale. Roll up one at a time. Roll, 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 roll to the seated position. Once you get there, extend those legs out. Try to flatten the back. Lift the chest up. Hold it. Bend those knees in. And roll down. Slow. Relax the head back. Exhale, roll up. Roll, 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 roll. Keeping those legs there. Extend those legs. Open the chest. Bend the knees in. Roll back. We're going to do one more here like this. And exhale, lift. Scoop through those abs. Roll up. Hold. Extend those legs. Hold it. If you can, okay, hold it. Otherwise, you're just going to do a little lower lift. Lower down and lift up. Use those ropes to help. Scoop through those abs. It's like a little decent. Lower and lift. If you feel any back tension, just stop or hold. You can also do one leg down, lowering and lifting. We're going to do three more like this. And two. Last one. Lift, hold it, and place those feet down. Great. We're going to cross the straps. You're going to place one hand through the straps up to the elbow joint. Other hand goes in and lift. Palms are facing your face, sitting up tall. You're going to open those hands out just so they're in line with the shoulders slightly back because you want to feel the shoulders and chest open. And then back to center. So your palms are framing your face. The whole time as you're opening out to the side. You know, dropping the shoulders down the back, squeezing them in your deltoids, shoulder blades together. Exhaling as you pull. Resist your form. You want to sit up tall through that spine. Try not to let the shoulders lean back as you open wide. Let's do five more. Last four. Three. Two. Last one, we're gonna hold it wide, hold it there, five seconds, squeeze the shoulder blades down, four, hold it for three, lengthen the neck, two, one, and release. Good, uncross the straps and hang them up. We're gonna move the box back sideways again, but this time it's gonna go over the shoulder rest. So make sure it's there and it's pushed in towards the shoulder rest. You're gonna bring your foot bar 
all the way up. So put on a red and a white spring for now. Have a seat on the box. We're going to do some side bends. So you're going to grab your strap. We're going to put your right foot into the strap. Sitting on your left side, make sure that right leg is long and your toe is facing forward parallel. Try not to do external rotation. Toe is parallel. So place that left hand on the shoulder rest just as a way to get started because you want one long line between your head, your torso, and your leg. Make sure your bottom is scooted towards the back so you're sitting on this left hip. Harder version, arms behind the head. I like to do one arm out and one arm here in front. You're going to lower down into the well and lift up, squeeze that right oblique. So you're just bending, lengthening through that right side, and then you're bending it, shortening the distance. So lengthen, and then try to shorten the distance between the rib and the right hip. Abs are tight. Only go down into the well as much as you feel comfortable with. And try not to move this right leg. A lot of times people lift up, lower the leg, or lift it up, and then you start working into that hip a little bit. So we're really concentrating on this right oblique. Abs pulled in. Exhaling as you lift. Try to keep that head neutral. We're going to do five more here. Last five. Squeeze this right side. Four. Three. Two. You're just going to hold it halfway, squeeze that right side, pull the belly button into the spine, hold it 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, hold it 4, 3, little pulse, just bend at the waist, 10, go slow, 9, 8, if you go fast, you'll use that leg, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold it. And take a little stretch into the well. Stretching out that right side. Roll on up. You're going to take the red spring off of the spring load. You're going to put your hand, so we have on a white spring, or if you only have a blue, do a blue. So hands on the foot bar, the carriage is light. You're going to lift up into a plank position. Don't have your feet touch the box because the box will move, so have them a few inches away. You're going to lift up onto the balls of your toes. Now, we're going to rotate your feet towards the right side. We just worked that right oblique, so we want to also still work that right side. Toes are lifted, heels are twisted to the right. Shoulders are squared off. Bending the knees, you're just going to press the carriage out. Shoulders stay over the wrists. And then bend those knees in slow. Use that right side to pull in deeper. Press the carriage back slow. And exhale, pull. Squeeze that right oblique. You want to pull the carriage in slow. Inhale back. Exhale, scoop in. Lengthen long through those legs. Feel that right oblique working. The back, let's do five more. And four, keep the shoulders squared off. The only thing that is twisted is the toes and knees. Three. Two. This last one, press out to the plank. Keep the leg straight. You're just gonna do little hip lifts. Squeeze that right oblique a little deeper for 10. Nine, eight, seven. It's a small motion. If this feels weird, just hold the plank or stop. Six, five, four, three, two, and come on in. Woo. 
Ooh, you should have felt that right oblique. I'm going to add on that red spring again so the carriage doesn't move when we go to our other side bends. So grabbing your strap, left foot in, sitting on to that right hip, left leg is long, toes are facing towards the wall. Right hand on the headrest to start. You're going to lift up, go down into the well, squeezing that left side. So you're just lengthening through the left side and then just making it shorter, bending at the waist. Exhale as you lift. Make sure you pull those abs in. Try to keep that head neutral. Lengthen and then shorten as you lift up. Try not to use that leg. We're going to do five more here. Squeeze the left side. And four. Three. Two. Last one. We're going to hold it up here. Squeeze that left side. Ten. Nine. Pull the belly button in. Eight. Seven. Keep holding. Six. Five. Four. Three. Little pulse. Just bend at the waist. Make it small. Go slow and control. Two. Three. Don't let that leg help. Four. Breathe. Keep pulsing slow. We have five more. Four, three, two, and one. Take a stretch down into the well. Feeling a stretch on that left side. Slowly roll up. We're going to take off that red spring. So you're on that single white, or like I said, a blue. Hands on the foot bar. You're going to lift up. Lift to the balls of your toes. Try to have those legs squeezed together. Now we're going to rotate the toes. The heels to the left side. The toes are to the right. Shoulders are squared up. Bending the knees. You're going to press out. Shoulders stay over the wrists. And then bend those knees in slow. So you want to really focus on that left oblique as you pull those knees in. So you're almost thinking about aiming those knees towards that right wrist. Press it back, hold, and then pull it in. The slower you go, the more you'll be engaging the abs and obliques. We have five more here. out and hold four. Last three. Two. Last one. We're going to press all the way back out to the plank. Feet are still rotated. Hold it. Little pulses up. Just think about lifting the hip up, squeezing the left side a little deeper. Three. If it's too much, just hold the plank. Four. Lift, squeeze. Five. Six. Seven. Almost there. Eight. Nine. And ten. Pull it all the way in. Have a seat back down onto the box. Stepping off of the carriage carefully, let's just put the box onto the floor. And we're going to finish with single thigh stretch. So I'm going to put on a blue and a white spring. You're going to come up onto the carriage. Right foot is up against the right shoulder block. Bring that left foot onto the foot bar. Press the carriage back slightly. Lift the chest and shoulders up to the ceiling. Think about pressing that right hip forward. Breathing into that stretch. 
straightening out that front leg, square off the hips, lean that chest forward a little bit. You should feel it stretch down that left calf and hamstring. If you put the ball of your toe on a little bit more and drop that heel, you'll feel a deeper stretch in that calf. Bend that left knee in, press that hip forward. And switch legs. Left foot goes up against the shoulder rest. Right foot onto a foot bar. Press the carriage back slightly, lift the chest up. Press that left hip forward, tucking your pelvis under. Press the carriage back, straightening out that right leg, square off the hips. You can let that right heel drop below the foot bar if you want a deeper calf stretch. Breathing into that stretch. Slowly bend that right leg in, press the hip forward. And we are all done. I hope you guys had a great workout. There's definitely a few challenging exercises through this and a few new, new exercises. So I hope you guys had a great workout and I will see you guys at the next one.